What's up, fam fam? This is Tatiana King, and I'm here with the lovely, the really legendary at this point, Stephanie Williams. You, Stephanie, you're a writer extraordinaire. I gotta say, just personally, I'm extremely proud of you. This, this is not hype. This is not. I'm not, I'm not gassing you. Like really, I'm extremely proud of you. Um, the internet would think you just went from some random on Twitter that you know was just funny, and that's all the reason why she got what she got. But no, you're actually extremely talented. You have a lot by way of story, by the way of comedy, by the way of life experiences, and you pour that into the characters. The, your characters that you love from Marvel and DC yes. and beyond. So now that you are where you are, like, how do you feel right now? Do you feel you're supposed to be here right now? Uh, absolutely. As you can tell from the table, the people think so too, because I ain't got nothing left. Uh, but no, I, I do. Um, I was fighting a little bit of imposter syndrome, but someone said something to me that like, well, people that are supposed to be, only imposters actually have the syndrome. So I'm supposed to be here. Everything that I'm doing, like it has all led to this. I had no choice but to be here. So yeah, yeah I'm happy to be here too. I'm glad you said that because I was going to ask you, did you feel like you are past that imposter syndrome phase at this point? I think so. Um, and I want to say this year I got past that because last year I almost worked myself into burnout just saying yes to everything because I had this fear that, you know, Nubia would happen and then I would just fall into obscurity. But thankfully that's not what happened because mm -hmm. um, either just folks that read my work, editors see that like, she has a knack for storytelling. She really loves what she does, yeah. and it shines through in her work. Um, so, you know, it's it's yeah. been really slow. It's been steady. So, like, no, the imposter syndrome is gone. Like every time it tries to rear its head, the universe is like, "No, nah, girl." Like, here's yeah. a reminder. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and and to me, you big time now. Okay, yeah, for real, for real. Like you stomping with the big dogs. Okay, you have a big cosign from James Gunn recently yeah. on the DC book. So it's like, what's that book about? It's about all the like the random dc heroes right yeah so uh originally it was called heck yeah peacemaker mm -hmm. and it had like this real long name so they changed it it's still kind of long but it's all right but it's all the strange unsung heroes um so mal uh, malcolm duncan is in this Ma hunkle creature commandos dexter which i freaked out a little bit because i saw him on the cover i was like did i write about dexter <laughs> i did it's just that y'all the the amount of research it took to do this book yeah I was living, breathing, dreamy DC characters. Because I was also writing a second Nubia series at the same time. So, like, I was in the trenches yeah. with DC yeah. uh, with this book. So, it was a labor of love because this is work that I've done for sci-fi fangirls, for Marvel.com, like, this character deep dive. So, it's nice to, like, actually do it on a big stage. Yeah. So, like, I've been, I've been working to get to this for a while. Yeah. So, this was, like, the perfect thing. For me to do like again i'm supposed to be here thank you yes um and, and i love the confidence i want people to understand that like you it's okay to be confident you know you could be humble too but it's like but you here for a reason right Absolutely. okay so we've done dc we've done marvel i know you've been crossing over to a lot of other things are we are we crossing over genres and mediums as well are we doing some tv are we doing any movies what are we doing what you want to do i want to do it all so absolutely tv animation is the big thing yes. i mean quite clearly obviously but um thanks to my son he's eight i would be watching his show shows even if i didn't have him but because a lot of our bonding time is spent like watching tv together the kids shows they're just so smart they're so well done and like i want to be a part of that mm -hmm. you know your blueies of the world your yes. wee baby bears all this like i want to be in the mix for that um of course like I, I just want to tell stories. So any way that I can do that, I'm down for. Um, I'm writing my first novel right now. Uh, Saturday AM just announced it. It's a light novel. It's like a prequel to the um, Apple Black series, okay. which is really dope. Um, I'm getting into some manga now, too. That hasn't been announced, but like I'm doing a little stuff for that. Um, and a novel novel on, a, on another tip, a whole rom-com. So like, she just want to write. So whatever it is, I will show up. I'll do my research. You know, I'm a student of whatever it is that I'm working on. So listen, yeah. comics, I love it. I'll always write them, graphic novels, all of that. But there's other things that I want to do. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but you're doing it. Every yeah. week, yeah. every week there's a new announcement. Every week you're like, oh, I got this out. I got this out. I'm like, God, this girl working. I, you know, you, you kind of have to because it's strike while the iron is hot. But like just... For me, myself, as a black woman, I know that 
I can't really re- like I can rest, right? Like I rest on the weekends, but also at the same time, like if opportunities are coming and they align with me, which all of them have, yes. like I'm gonna make time to do them. And I'm just so fortunate enough that a lot of the work that I get, you know, I already been thinking about it prior to they come for prior to them coming to me. So it doesn't take me long to pitch. It doesn't take me long to actually write the things. So I'm able to kind of like go through it. But I will say, like last year, like I almost burnt myself out. So this year I've been a lot more strategic and. Yes, I'm like, I do like this, but not enough for me to divvy up this time. So, like, somebody, I'll recommend somebody else for it, and it always works out because the thing that was actually meant for me and I, you know, needed to be patient and wait on came, and I was like, okay, bet. Yeah. So, a lesson in just, you don't have to say yes to everything. Like, something else is going to come. Like, you don't have to be in this, like, survivor mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as we're wrapping up Comic-Con, I mean, it's a Sunday. You sold out, as you mentioned. So you got nothing else to give but but, just, but a high and a smile. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, now we got to talk about how do we cultivate back into you, right? How do you en- re-energize yourself now? Like, what are you doing? Now you said you're not trying to bring yourself out anymore. So yeah. how are you, like, me- helping your mental health? So I am not working weekends anymore. Oh like, I at one point last year, I worked on my birthday. That's how bad it was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so serious I worked my birthday through vacation all of that and I was like yeah that's crazy don't do that so I take my weekends off um I don't answer emails after seven sometimes I do depending on who it's from I might answer but most of the time I don't answer emails and like I've been putting hard stops on when you know life life and like work and it's just been so much better also like you know I'm taking a step back and like actually taking the time to like watch shows that i missed out on what are you watching uh so recently finished up silo okay hugh howie is here the author you saw them? I, I sure did i told him i was like yo your series got me through a job that i hated and now that i'm in a job that i really love i've been able to watch the tv show and get reacquainted with it he was like oh my god like i really love that so i actually gonna need to get my book signed by him today but like that's been really dope so you know, I'm taking time and make, no, I am making time Please. for myself yes. uh, and my family and just like, you know, the work on, it's still going to be the NYCC. Work don't stop? Yes. Work don't stop? stop? No. You know, so <laughs> she, I am prior, prioritizing me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let people know where they can find you and your work, all that good stuff. All right. So on all social medias at Steph underscore I underscore Will. W uh, Y stuff dot com so W H Y S T E P H and yeah you know I always post it uh, if you even just Google Stephanie Williams comics you'll find stuff but very exciting announcements coming towards the end of the year and at the beginning of the year in fact something I've wanted to write for a very long time really may have finally happened can we get a teaser a tease no, y'all don't know what it is. we go, we going there's nothing you can say no because I've been talking about a color. Stuff. Uh, a scent? No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I like I want to, but like when the news drops, you'll be like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll we be there. Well, you know, we're always rooting for you at Fall Nerds. I'm personally always rooting for you. I love you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That is Steph Williams. Make sure you go to her site. Make sure you buy, pre-order, everything you can do when it comes to her books and all her work. All right. So we'll see you soon with more Fall Nerds.